share the same pain or share the same bank account as my soulmate. If I share the same bank account as my soulmate, I might be poor because he might not have money. So, I'll share the same pain. Hurry up, Amara. You're gonna be late. <sighs> yes, mom. Be patient. Ouch! Poor soulmate. He probably felt that. Hey, Amara. Hey, Jason. Why is your neck red? I woke up and it was already like this. Maybe a ghost was strangling me in my sleep. What? I'm just joking. I'll see you later. Maybe it was just a coincidence that he had a burnt mark on his neck. What did you choose this morning? To feel my soulmate's pain. You should have chosen to share your bank account. I chose to share my bank account and look at me now. I'm super rich. Hey, Amara, can I stay at your house? No, sorry. You're a guy. My mom would never allow that. Please, I'm so afraid of my parents. Why is he afraid of his parents? Why is there so many bruises on your legs? Did you have a fight with someone? These bruises are from my soulmate, mom. Jason didn't come to school today. Why is everyone looking at me? You don't realize what's on your stomach? What do you mean? <sighs> your stomach's bleeding. Let's go to the hospital, quickly. <sighs> There's definitely something wrong with my soulmate. Big pill or small pill? I'll take the big pill because it matches my clothes. Hey, honey, did you take your pill? Yeah, I chose the big pill. You chose? You got a choice? I thought everyone got small pills. No, I got to choose between a big pill and a small pill. You need to leave my house right now. What? Why? Whoever takes the big pill gets bigger in size. I can't be seen with you. Get out of my house now. Don't worry, I'm leaving. Amara, did you know there's only two hours left before the size of the earth gets smaller? Huh? Yeah, that's why we all got the small pill. Didn't you eat the small pill? Um, yeah, I ate the small pill. That's great. So, whoever eats the big pill gets bigger and whoever eats the small pill gets smaller? If that's true, why hasn't my size changed? I'm exactly the same size. Hey, bestie, you've eaten the small pill, right? Yes. Okay, don't forget to sleep because the pill only works when you sleep. We need to be small before the earth shrinks. Yeah, um, I'll sleep later. Okay, that's fine. I just won't sleep. That way, I'll stay the same size and no one will find out I ate the big pill. Hey, can I ask you something? Yes, of course. You say people automatically get the small pill, but um, what happens to the people who get the big pill? There's no way they could get the big pill. No way? Why? Because it's impossible, unless you're the chosen one. The chosen one? Yeah, why are you asking so many questions anyway? Didn't you get the small pill? Yeah, of course. What am I gonna do? It's your turn to sleep, Amara. Hey. Me, sir? Are there any other Amaras here? Hurry up and sleep. Okay, sir. I'll sleep now. I'll just pretend to sleep. Amara, I know you're not sleeping. What are you actually doing anyway? <sighs> um, sir... May I go to the toilet? I don't think I can sleep because I have a stomach ache. Okay, don't be long because soon the earth will shrink. And you'll have to become smaller before that happens. I understand. Good thing I still have the small pill. I can just eat and become small like my other friends. Wait, where is it? It was just in my pocket. Amara, you're taking too long in the toilet. The earth is shrinking in one minute. One second, my stomach still hurts. Okay, because I'm a good friend, I'll wait for you while sleeping outside the toilet. What? Time's up? Have they become small yet? How come it's so quiet? It was so crowded a minute ago. What was that? How many times do I need to eat today? 50 times? My stomach's gonna explode! Whoa, why did you bring all that food to school? Because I have to eat 50 times today. 50 times? I only have to eat 5 times. You're gonna be fat. Why the body shaming? Class, in today's lesson, we're going to be learning history. Sir, can I go to the toilet? My stomach really hurts. You've been back and forth to the toilet like a hundred times today. That's because she wants to go to the canteen. Yeah, she was seen eating at the canteen last lesson. Shut up! Sorry, Amara, but I'm not going to let you get any more toilet breaks. I've eaten so much food today. Only ten more meals and I'm done. Wait, the food ratio isn't meant to be spent. It's dangerous if you run out. You have to stop eating now. What? The food ratio above your head is only meant to be spent when you... I have to choose between knowing my mom's location or my grandma's location. Since my grandma likes to disappear a lot, I'll choose her. Honey, I'm going to the market. Take care of your grandma while I'm gone, okay? Okay, she'll be fine with me. Grandma! Wait, why isn't she in her room? Where is she? Why at the door? I can't let her run away again. Where are you going, Grandma? I'm scared of your mom. Why are you scared of my mom? Grandma wants to go away. Don't tell your mom, okay? But Grandma! You're a good granddaughter, alright? Alright, I won't say anything. 
Why isn't grandma here? Did you see her? Grandma ran away from home. We have to find grandma before mom finds her. <gasps> okay, good thing I already know her location, so it won't be that hard to find her, right? Try check again. Where is she now? It says graveyard. What? Grandma can't go to the graveyard. Why not? What happens if she goes to the graveyard? Your grandma can be. Control what you eat or control what you wear? I think I'll go for control what you wear. No, don't. What if he picks nothing? Mom, relax. I don't think he'll do that. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. See? I told you he wouldn't pick nothing. Okay, now hurry up. You're going to be late for school. You're wearing all pink today. Yeah, I think my soulmate's favorite color is pink. What? Already? Okay, this one's not bad at all. Why aren't you just wearing pink? Come, we're late for class. I hope you all studied for the test. <gasps> That's today? I totally forgot about it. Wait, I can feel something in my pocket. No way. Test answers. Thanks, soulmate. Smart pill or power pill? I want to be smart. Mom, I'm going to school. I have a really important test today. Why do you even bother going? Everyone in this family failed because we're not very academic. Going to these tests are a waste of time. But I... No buts. Next semester, make sure you pay for your own course because I'm not paying for it anymore. It's useless. Hey! Oh my gosh, look who it is. Why do you even bother coming to school? You keep getting low grades in every exam. Stop wasting your parents' money and just quit. Well, I've been studying and I have a good feeling about this exam. Oh, I almost feel bad for you. I actually think you're going to pass. Whatever, I'll show you. You have one hour to complete the test. No cheating, please. She's definitely going to fail. I don't even know why she bothers. Well, what they don't know is that I've taken the smart pill, so there's no way I could fail. Amara, is this your paper? Yeah. You got 100 out of 100. Well done. <laughs> Sir, she brought a cheat book with her. Is that true, Amara? Answer truthfully. In that case, I'm giving you two biology questions to Wait, answer. Wait, like right now? Yes, right now. Whoever has the highest grade gets a prize. And the one with the lowest grade will be suspended. Good luck at failing, Amara. <laughs> a sugar daddy or a sugar bestie? Hmm. If I choose a sugar daddy, it might be someone weird. So, sugar bestie. Hello? Hello, I'm your sugar bestie. I'm here in front of your house. That was quick. Hold on. Hey, nice to meet you. Uh, I thought it was a girl sugar bestie, not a boy. <laughs> You're very funny. What's your name? My name is Amara. What's your name? My name is J uh, Chris. Are you sure about that? Yeah, my name is Chris. Okay, come on in. There's something weird about this guy. Oh, Amara, I bought you a MacBook for fun. I hope you like it. Is this for me? Yes, useful for you, right? Yeah, very useful. Thanks, Chris. Hey, Amara, instead of playing on your cell phone, you should go but shopping. I don't have any money. Calm down, calm down. Here. Okay, I'll go buy some stuff now. Hmm, should I buy a new Nintendo Switch or some new earphones? Her name is Amara, boss. She's very funny and talkative. No, don't come here now, boss. If you get caught, it can mess up our plans. Hmm, I've always wondered. Seriously? 10,000 for these? They're not even branded. So, did you choose 10,000 like we agreed on? No, I chose the glasses. What? Why? I don't know. Maybe they have a superpower or something. So, do they? You used to be a stripper? What? How did you know that? Hey, I won't judge. Hmm. So, these glasses reveal people's secrets. Interesting. Sis! What do you want? Just stay right there. Mom? I wonder who my future husband will be. Lucas? I'm not gonna risk it. He's the most annoying guy in school. Morning, Mom. Why did you reject today's candidate? Because he has the same name as the most annoying guy in school. I'm not gonna risk it. Please give me someone better today. James? Who do I know named James? James? He has the same name as my cab driver. That's not funny. You're so picky. Just make a choice already. Well, I don't want this one. Have you seen? Amara's nearly rejected three people. I know. She's going to be single forever. I can't believe this. Is it true I have up to three choices? Yeah, it is. And if you reject all three, you'll be single forever. Whether I want or not, I'm going to have to accept this one. I have no other choice. William? Well, that's a pretty nice name. 
Did you just say William? I can't believe you picked him as a husband. Yeah, I did. Why? Oh my gosh, don't you know that he's the... Here's some medicine. Thank you, you're very kind. My status, it doesn't say error anymore. Hey Gardener, what are you talking about? It must be fake. You're the one who's fake. I'm gonna make you regret saying that. I heard you're the new school queen. Yeah, Emily was lying this whole time. We always believed you. Let's be friends, please. I don't want to be friends with you guys. You're evil. And besides, aren't you Emily's best friends? Not anymore. We don't want to be friends with Emily. We want to be friends with the queen. So your status appeared. You're the real queen. I'm so happy. Jake, don't believe her. According to the rules, the king must obey the queen. What do you want, queen? I want Emily's status to be changed to gardener. Okay, fine. I admit I lied about my status, but please don't change it to gardener. You deserve to get the punishment. Mom, where's my allowance for this month? Honey, your dad left, so no more allowance. How am I going to buy food at the canteen? Be patient. Huh? Guess the name of a psychopath or a prince? I'm scared of psychopaths. So, honey, if you guess his name, you'll earn money and your balance will increase. My balance will increase? Oh, only four letters. Um, I guess R. Honey, careful. You can't try to guess the name like that. If you're wrong three times, something bad will happen to you. I can only get it wrong three times, but I already got it wrong once. I'm going to school. Bye. Lend me your phone. A! The first letter is A? That's good. You guessed the letter. <sighs> yeah, I'm so happy. My balance just increased. Well, now there's only three letters left. You have to guess the name soon. They say whoever's first to complete the name will earn an extraordinary balance. Seriously? Then I have a chance to become rich. Okay, now I have to guess. Can you get out of the way? Oh, sorry, you dropped your book. Liam? That's not my name, it's my sister's name. Give me back my book. Okay. You know that boy I bumped into earlier? Do you know who he is? Oh yeah, he's the biggest nerd in school. He spends all his time studying. Well, he dropped this book, and it said Liam on it. Book? Oh, he tells everyone it's his sister's name. I think he's lying. Okay, class, for this exercise, you have to tell me your favorite letter. My favorite letter is M. Yes, so the fourth letter of the prince's name is M. I need to finish this soon. K. It's wrong. Be careful, young lady. If you get it wrong again, something bad will happen to you. Something bad will happen to me, but... I need to know the prince's name. No, you don't, because he already goes to your school. He goes to my school? <gasps> okay, I'm gonna guess the next two letters. Wait, you can't just guess. Because if you're wrong one more time, something bad will happen to you. You're right. It's best I find out the prince's name first. Is there anyone at school whose name ends with an M? Why don't you just ask the class? Good idea. I'll go ask now. Hi guys, does anyone's name here end with an M? Mine does. No, it doesn't, Jake. And also, you're not the prince. Oh, come on, babe. Why are you like that? I've asked every single class, and no one's name ends with an M. You again. Why are you always everywhere? I'm looking for a boy whose name ends with an M. No one in the school has a name that ends with an M. What's your name? My name's Rio. But why does it say Liam on his book? Maybe he's faking his name so that no one knows he's the prince. True. I really want to guess another letter, but I'm scared something bad will happen to me. Why don't you just find out if he really has a sibling or not? Good idea. I'll follow him after school. Okay, class. The lesson's over. You can go home. Okay, now it's time for me to follow that guy. I know you're following me. Me? I'm not following you. What do you want? I just wanted to look out for you in case someone followed you home. You don't have to make excuses. Just watch out. I don't want to see you following me again. Okay, okay. I'm not going to follow you. Excuse me, miss. Why were you arguing with that boy? We weren't arguing. I just wanted to meet his sister. His sister? As far as I know, he's an only child. He's an only child? Yes, everyone who lives in this area knows this. You didn't I know? I had a feeling he was lying. Okay, I'm going to try guess his name. Hopefully I'm right. I don't want anything bad happening to me. Liam. A simple house or a luxury house? Who wants to live in a simple house? Of course I'm going to choose a luxury house. 
Wow, this house looks like a palace. Honey, what have you done? How come our house looks so luxurious? I got the option to choose between a luxury house and a simple house. And I chose the luxury house, mom. Whoa, this way I don't have to be ashamed anymore if any of our neighbors decide to come visit. Do you guys want to come mines after school? Of course, your house is so luxurious. I wonder what Amara's house looks like. I've seen it. It's really disgusting. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Why are you talking to us? What did I do wrong? You are wrong because you're not rich. Let's go, Jenny. What? This year, our class sleepover is going to be at Jenny's house again, okay? I don't mind sleeping at hers. Her house is beautiful, unlike Amara's house. Guys, don't you want to come to my house? I'm having a birthday party there. In your smelly house? <laughs> it sucks. I don't want to come. I don't want to come either. It's dirty. But my house is not as old as you think. Don't lie. I've seen you go to your house after school. It looks really dirty. Enough. All right, Amara. I'll give you a chance. Everyone's going to your birthday party, but if your house is what everyone's saying it is, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house. Okay, sir. I understand. They'll soon know the truth, but I have to get ready before they come. I wonder what the reaction will be like. Oh my god, that must be them. I can't wait to see Jenny's reaction. Hello, guys. Whoa, is this really your house, Amara? Yes, sir. This is my house. I can't believe it, sir. I saw her once go home after school, but it wasn't to this house. Amara, is this really your house or are you lying to me? Of course not, sir. This is my house. Why would I be lying? I don't believe her. She doesn't want to admit that this house isn't hers. This house is too beautiful to be Amara's. Okay, I'll give you 24 hours to prove that this house is really yours. And if you can't prove it, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house again. Okay, sir. What happened, honey? My classmates and my teacher think that I'm lying about this house being mine. But why didn't you prove to them that the house is yours? How can I do that? You can show them the contract of this house, but the contract is still with your dad and he's overseas. So I have to wait for him to come back? My teacher only gave me 24 hours to prove it, mom. Your dad's coming home tonight. Don't worry. All right, mom. I'm going for a walk. I'm so angry. Of course that house isn't Amara's, but she won't admit it. But if it's true that the house is hers, the sleepover will be there every year and not at your house anymore. Of course not. She's lying. I've seen her house. It's not the one we went to today. My dad's not home yet. Honey, I'm home. Dad, finally. Do you have the contract for the house? Yeah, your mom told me you needed it, right? Here you go. Thank you so much, Dad. This is going to solve all my problems. It's almost been 24 hours and Amara still hasn't proven that the house is hers. See, sir, I told you she was lying. If she doesn't prove it quickly, the sleepover will be at yours and she'll get kicked out of school for lying. I'm sure the house isn't hers. I have to show them. Sorry I'm late, sir. Did you bring what I asked for? Jenny, why did she come to school? I thought she wouldn't come because she doesn't have proof. Yes, sir, I brought it. Here you go. Good, now let's see if the house is really yours. Oh my god, so that luxurious house is really yours, Amara? That house is really Amara's? Yes, see, sir, I wasn't lying about the house being mine. Jenny, are you ready to leave school? Amara wasn't lying. I'm sorry, sir. Please don't kick me out of the school and keep the sleepover at my house. Because my house is still more luxurious than Amara's. Jenny, the sleepover was at your house last year. Your house is really luxurious, but Amara's is even more. But that was last year, sir. My house has changed. It's more luxurious now. Okay, students, let's go to Jenny's later to see the current state of our house. Okay, sir. Sir, can I go too? Of course, Amara. All students in class can go. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't want Amara to come to my house. What? Why not? You went to my house too, and I didn't care about it, even though you called me a liar. It's my house, and when I say no, it means no. Why doesn't Jenny want me to go to her house? What does she have against me? I feel sorry for you, Amara. Even though I'm friends with Jenny, I'm sorry. You don't have to feel sorry, Olivia. You know what? Just come with me to Jenny's house. If she says anything, I'll take the blame. Okay. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Olivia. <gasps> Wait, why did you bring Amara here? Oh, come on. Just let her in. You feel sorry for her, don't you? Do you want to get removed from our friend group? No, Jenny, but... Hey, what's that noise? Can you guys stop fighting? Amara, come on in. Whoa, your house has changed a lot. Yes, sir. I hope you like it so that the sleepover can continue to be here. Okay, I've made my decision. This year's class sleepover will be at... Uh... Whoa, your house has changed a lot. Yes, sir. I hope you like it so that the sleepover can continue to be here. Okay, I've made my decision. This year's class sleepover will be at... Uh... Jenny's house. As I expected, because my house is better than yours. But, sir! Okay, everyone, get ready. We'll meet at Jenny's house tonight at 8pm. 
One more thing, sir. I don't want Amara to come to my house. But I'm also a part of your class. When I say no, it means no. Amara, don't make this a big deal. Just listen to Jenny. It's her house after all. Okay, sir. How dare Jenny not let me go to the class sleepover? Why don't you just go regardless? Well, it's easy for you to say. You're Jenny's best friend. And if you really liked me, you wouldn't even go to the sleepover. You know what? You're right. Why don't you replace me at the sleepover? Replace you? But won't Jenny be angry? She won't be angry because if there's one less person, she won't be able to do the sleepover. Oh, I see. Thanks, Olivia. You're welcome. What are you doing here? I said you couldn't come. Plus, there's no one here yet. What happened to your house? I don't know. I just got here and found it like this. Someone must have came to mess it up. It was you, wasn't it? Me? What? No. This whole place is a mess. What am I going to do? Jenny, we're here. Open the door. Do not even think about it. I'm going to count to three and you have to open the door. One, two, three. I can choose to know the name of people's parents or their age. I prefer to know the parent's name. Sis, can I borrow your hairbrush? Yeah, sure. Here. Thank you. Huh? Why is your dad's name different than mine? Are we supposed to be siblings? What do you mean? Amara, can you give me the answer to question three? Sir, Sarah's asking me for test answers. No, sir. She's the one who wants to cheat. I trust Sarah more because she's smarter than me. Therefore, I'm giving you a zero You're on only test. doing that because she's your daughter, right? Wait, what? I haven't checked my parents' name yet. Huh? How come both of them are boy names? I have to ask my mom. Mom, you have to tell me the truth. Who are you? Oh my gosh, how did you find out? We have to tell her the truth. So first, your mom was... Honey, you took my blush. Mom, I, uh... Wait! Before speaking, you need to know that it's very important that you never lie. Because when you lie, you'll forget all memory of the person you're lying to. Yes, okay, mom. You caught me. I'll be right back, honey. I'm just gonna get some milk. Okay, dad, bye! Huh? Little girl, what are you doing in my house? Go to your house now! You don't remember me? Come on, leave now! Go back to your house! Dad lied. Okay, I'm going to my house. Bye, mom. I'm going to school. You need to give me the money. I can't pay for everything myself. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to your dad. Dad? But I never had a dad. Anyways, I'm going to go to school. Bye. And your mom told you that? Yeah, she told me she was speaking with my dad. Attention, everyone. I want you to meet our new director, Mr. Steve. Hello. It's so nice to finally meet her in person. What color did I get on my lips? I'm curious. Huh? Pale? Why are my lips pale, mom? That means you don't have a soulmate, honey. I don't have a soulmate? That means I'm never gonna get married. Calm down. You can just pretend with this lipstick. Here, use it. Okay. Does it look real? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go to school now. Hi, guys. What color are your lips? Yellow, which means my soulmate's cruel. Mine's red, which means my soulmate's perfect. I also got red. I can't wait to meet my soulmate. Calm down. We haven't went through any obstacles yet. What do you mean? You'll see. I have to reapply my lipstick. It's starting to fade away. What are you doing? This is strictly forbidden. It can cover the true color that we received on our lips today. Hey, let me throw it away for you. No, don't. My lips are too pale. So you faked your color? Shh. Don't tell anyone. Oh, your lip color looks really good, Amara. Yes, it really does. My lips are actually red. But you're in class, you're required to wear a mask. Class, those of you who didn't bring a mask, please take one off my table. What if my lipstick comes off with this mask? Everyone's gonna know that I'm lying. Put on the mask. Okay, sir. You have to go to the bathroom and put on this lipstick. But what's the difference between this one and the one I was wearing earlier? This one's permanent, so it won't come off with the mask. That's great. Thank you so much. Sir, can I go to the bathroom? Oh my gosh, why does this look weird? But, oh well, if it's permanent, then no one's gonna know that I'm lying. Let's hope this works. Why does my lip feel weird out of a sudden? Okay, class is over. It's time for you to take your masks off. I really hope that lipstick was permanent. Amara, take off your mask. Okay, sir. Amara, please take off your mask. Okay, sir. I'm so dead.
Whoa, your lips are so red. This means your soulmate's perfect. I'm proud to have a student like you in my class. Thank God he didn't find out I faked my lip color. Thank you so much. You saved me from getting caught by the teacher and now I finally have a lip color. Of course, we always help each other out, right? Yeah, but how come you never show your lip color to anyone? Um, I'm a bit hungry. Do you want to get food from the cafeteria? Why is she changing the subject? Amara, I bought you a drink. Please come on a date with me. I'll take you to a restaurant. Hey, I bought you a teddy bear. Wait, wait. Why are all the boys being so nice to me? It's because of your lip color. They all want to be your soulmate because your soulmate's perfect. I can't believe so many people have a crush on me. Actually, I still don't believe your lip color is original. What else do I have to do to prove it, sir? Try wiping your lips with this tissue. Why is it so wet and smelly? Just do it. Okay. See? Nothing came off. I told you I didn't fake it. This means your lips are real. I'm amazed. Don't you feel there's something strange about the teacher's behavior? No, why are you so suspicious of him? He's just acting weird. Don't worry, I'm sure it's nothing. Anyway, I'm gonna go look for my soulmate. Bye! Amara, wait! Your lips, they changed color. What? Oh gosh, why are they black? I don't think you should meet your soulmate. Why not? You'll be in danger because... What vote is that, Dad? Today, everyone will vote for you, depending on if they think you're beautiful or ugly. If everyone considers you ugly, you'll be killed. Don't worry, I'll help you with your first vote. Mom, you're gonna vote beautiful, right? I'm not your mom, I'm your stepmother, and no, I'm not gonna vote that. Because your face reminds me of your mom, and she was ugly. Lucy, if you vote beautiful for me, I'll do the same for you. <laughs> you really think I'm gonna vote beautiful? I'm voting ugly. I want you to die so that I can take your boyfriend. Grandma, help me. I don't want to die. Everyone's voting ugly. Okay, honey, be patient. Sometimes life is unfair, even though we do good for others. But don't worry, I'll vote beautiful, okay? Thank you, Grandma. Guys, whoever votes ugly for Amara, I'll give them a hundred pounds. Wow, okay. I voted. Give me the money. Why are you doing this to me? Why are people mean to me when I'm always nice to them? I'm going to start being mean too. Amara, don't be mean. It's not all about how you look on the outside. The inside counts too, and you have a very good heart, so I'm voting beautiful. Besides, yesterday, someone told me that you helped some orphans. Thank you very much. Hey babe, since I'm your girlfriend, can you vote beautiful for me? No, I'm bored of you. If you die, that means I can have a new girlfriend. A new girlfriend? Yes, I've been wanting to break up with you for the longest time. My dad was right. I should have listened to him and left that guy a long time ago. This is my last chance. Sis, please vote beautiful for me. You don't want to lose me, do you? Actually, if you disappear, dad will love me more. So I'm voting ugly. No! What did you just do? Bye, sis. Huh? Choose between a hundred million or know everything? Of course the money. Amara, your boyfriend's waiting outside. Look what you've done. Oh no. Amara, how much is 3,000 times 780? Um, I don't know. 2,240,000. Yeah, that's right. Well done. That's weird. I didn't even mean it. My mouth just spoke by itself. Amara, I need to tell you something. Last night... Lucas slept at your house and you two were studying in your room. Yeah, how did you know that? Because I know everything. Plus, we're going to have a sudden exam. Whoever finishes first wins a prize. The answer to question 1 is B, the answer to question 2 is A, and the answer to question 25 is D. How did you know the answers? Did you look at my notes? No, I just guessed it. Now, can I have my prize? Hey, anyone want to buy some lottery tickets? Yes, can I have number 2, 8, 14, and 16? No way, I won! Mom, we're gonna be rich! Police, open up! What's my future salary? 50 million? That's a lot. I better put it on private so that my friends don't use me. How much is your salary, honey? 20 pounds. 20 pounds? That's so little. What a shame. I'm paying so much for your school for no reason. It's not for no reason. I'm still learning. I don't want to pay your school fees anymore. Hey, um, what are you doing? Hey, I'm planning what house I'm buying in the future because my salary is 200 Whoa, that's a lot. How much is your salary, Amara? Why is it on private? 20 pounds. Oh, that's so little. I knew I was much smarter than you. Hey, don't be arrogant. Hi guys, what's your salaries? Mine's 40,000. Mine's 12,000. 
Mine's 110,000. What about yours? 20 pounds. Huh? Seriously? You might as well just quit school then. Yeah, you're just wasting your time. Why are you guys so rude? Class, please choose a group you want to work with on the new project. Okay, sir. Hi, guys. Can I join your group? You're really asking that? Of course not. Those whose salary is below 10,000 can't join our group. But you don't know how much my salary is. It's on private. Amara, come on. Everyone in school knows that your salary is 20 pounds. Just buy candy with it or something. That's if you can afford it. So, why does it say that I got grades C on my paper? It should say B on here. I heard your future salary is 20 pounds, but how come your grades are so good? I don't know, but can you change it back to B? Sorry, I can't, Amara. Everyone's going to think that I've given you a fake grade. Everyone's so mean. I wonder what they will say once they find out my future salary is much higher than theirs. I wonder what they'll say once they find out my future salary is much higher than theirs. Well, why isn't it working? See, I told you you were lying, otherwise you'd be able to put your salary on public. Why isn't it working? I want to prove everyone wrong and let the teacher give me the grade I deserve. Why are you here, Amara? I'm not going to change your grade. But sir, my salary is 50 million. That's a lie. If it was 50 million, why is it on private? I'm not lying, I promise. Just get out, Amara. Why do you look so sad? It's nothing. I've just had a bad day. I know what will make you happy. Here, have some candy. Grandma, I'm not a kid anymore. Just trust me and eat it. Okay, thank you. I really hope this candy isn't expired. Hmm, it's good. Wait, what? How did it just change to public? I hope I'll get a nice hairstyle. Two ponytails. If I accept, all my friends are going to make fun of me because I look like a little girl. It's okay, honey. It's a trend now. No, mom, it's not. I'm going to refuse it. Look how pretty my hair is. Yeah, it looks really good. I wish I got that hairstyle. Where is your hairstyle? You didn't get one? I did, but I rejected it. You should pick a unique one so your soulmate can find you. Yeah, I'm going to accept the next choice, I guess. I chose a half up, half down ponytail. I chose a bun. You guys are lucky. Don't worry, just keep refusing until you get a good one. Yeah, I did that as well and it worked. Wow, then I have a better chance of getting a good hairstyle. I hope this time they'll give me a good hairstyle, which is better than my friends. Huh? Bold hairstyle? That means I'm not gonna have any hair. Why would they even give me this choice? It's okay, honey. Just accept it. Your hair will grow healthier. I don't want to, mom. You should be thankful and stop being I'm not picky. being picky. I'm gonna refuse it. I'm worried about you. You haven't picked a hairstyle yet. You have to quickly pick one so you can marry your soulmate. Calm down. I still have time. Hopefully, they'll give me a hairstyle this time that I like because I'm so tired of this. Huh? A bob cut? Not happening. I'm not cutting my hair. Sis, there's an old man staring at you. You have to pick a hairstyle quickly so you can get married and no one will stare at you anymore. No, I'm refusing it. I can't believe I still haven't gotten the hairstyle I want. I heard that if you get too braids, you're a special person. What do you mean a special person? You'll get treated like a queen with that hairstyle. Gosh, you still haven't picked. How many times have you refused? Three times. But you only get three chances. Now you'll never meet your soulmate. Calm down. Special people get to choose four times. And I'm sure I'm going to get to choose again. But you're not special. Yes, I am. Just watch. Don't give me another choice. I really hope so. I'm starting to get a bit worried. What if they don't give me another choice? Yes, I knew it. They're giving me another choice. Okay, hopefully this time they'll give me braids. Huh? Two braids? I managed to get the special hair. Don't accept it because... It's okay. This hairstyle is possible. I don't want to waste this opportunity, so I'm going to accept it. I can know the subject or class. You'll be going to a new school soon, so you'll have to choose what's useful for you. But if I'm in school, I straight away know the class, so I'm going to pick subject. Are you sure about your choice? Yes, ma'am. I chose to know the class. Yeah, I don't think anyone chooses to know the subject. It's good for nothing. I chose subject. What? Those who chose subject will be class made. made. But I'm smart. Why would they make me homemade? Hey, Emily, what did you choose to know? Obviously class, didn't you? Um, 
No, I chose to know the subject. Huh? From now on? I can't be friends with you anymore. Why not? I don't want to be friends with Claire's maid. This is all your fault, so don't contact me anymore. Babe, you have to teach me the subject too, yeah? Babe, since when were we dating? Since the moment you chose to know the subject. So you just want to use me? Not happening. Did you just reject the most handsome boy in school? I have a present for you. I want you out to eat. I'll pay. Amara's mine. Don't talk to her. What do you mean? When we finish school, you have to come to my house. Sa said, if you bring a book that doesn't match the subject, you'll be killed by the ghost of Patricia who used to be in the school. And you believe that? Yes. So many people have gone missing because they brought the wrong book to school. Amara, tomorrow you have to tell me what book you bring to school, okay? No. Why should I tell you? Because you're my maid. And did you forget I'm the president's daughter? There will be consequences if you don't tell me. Okay, I'll tell you. Mom, apparently I'm Claire's maid now, because I'm the only one who can see tomorrow's subject. What? Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Claire's the daughter of the president. You have to respect her and listen to her. Here, take this bag. Make sure everything she needs is in this bag. Wait, so you think it's right that I'm her maid? Yes, you should be proud. She's the president's daughter. You can see tomorrow's subject, right? Yes, sir. Why? The lives of your friends are now in your hands. You have to tell them. So they don't disappear like the others. Yes, sir. I understand. Today's lesson is math. Why didn't you call me this morning? Hurry up and tell me today's subject so I can bring the right book to class. Oh, yeah. Today's lesson is... English. I can see someone's last drink or last meal. I think the last meal is more interesting. Mom, I'm gonna eat quickly before going to school. Oh my gosh, you ate a cockroach? Yeah, I wanted to try it. I learned how to try it online. Do you wanna try some? No, thank you. I'm going to school. Bye. Wait, before you go, here, take a couple with you so you can eat them at lunch. Whatever, Mom. Thanks. It turns out all my friends are healthy because they eat vegetables all the time. Amara, what's that in your lunchbox? What kind of food is that? It looks delicious. The fried cockroaches. Do you want to try some? Sure, I've never had them before. I heard they're really good. Thank you for sharing your lunch. You're usually very stingy. I feel bad for you because you eat vegetables all the time. How do you know that I eat vegetables? Because I can see people's last meal. If that's true, can you check my last meal? Chicken liver? Gosh, you're right. But please don't tell anyone I have this power. I feel like everyone who ate your cockroach yesterday is gone. Huh? Gone? How? They didn't come to school today. Who made that cockroach? My mom, but it's impossible that she would poison my lunch. The teacher now suspects you. Luckily, I didn't try your lunch yesterday, so I'm safe. You wanted to see me, sir? Aria said you can see someone's last meal, right? But I told her not to tell anyone. Is that true, Amara? Yes, sir. Meet me at the school warehouse at 3 this afternoon. I wonder why he wants me to meet him at that exact time. Okay, sir. Why does it smell so rotten in here? You should see the last meal. Huh? Them? That's my friends who didn't show up to school today. Why do they look so pale? Everyone who ate your cockroach died. One of them, as you know, is the president's daughter. There's no way. I guarantee you my lunch wasn't poisoned. I need you to please look at the last meal. Huh? Why can't I see it? The last meal isn't appearing, sir. Okay, I'll give you three hours. If you can't prove it, you'll be found guilty and will be punished. Buy these glasses, please. They're cheap. No, thanks. I don't want to buy any glasses. But they have a great power. You won't regret it. Great power? Okay, who knows? Maybe they can help me. I'll take them. You're here, which means you can see people's last meals, right? I'll try, sir. This is your last chance. Okay, I'll put on these glasses first. So, what's the last meal? Okay, I'll put on these glasses first. So, what's the last meal? Gosh, so they really did die because of the lunch I gave them. Hello, answer me. Um, it wasn't because of me, sir. The last meal was chicken soup. Okay, now keep this a secret from everyone. So, I'm not in trouble, right, sir? No, but please keep this a secret. Yes, of course. Where did you just come from, Amara? I was just walking around the school. I'm really starting to get worried about our friends. 
Do you think something bad happened to them? No, I don't think so. Honey, you're back from school. Let's have lunch. I just cooked. What's our lunch this time? Cockroaches. Why? I don't know if I should eat it, but I need to find out if the reason my friends died was because of them. You don't want to eat the food? That's yes, I do, Mom. Well, it tastes really good, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Why didn't anything happen? I'll get it. Hey, I brought you a bag of food. You did? I don't think I can accept this, sir. If you don't, I'll reduce your grade. Okay, I'll accept it. Why is he forcing me to take this? This is so weird. I have to find out who was responsible for what happened at school yesterday. Amara, you're finally here. Huh, Stephanie? How are you still alive? Am I in heaven? I'm still alive and we all need your help to avoid the teacher. So you faked your death? Yes. I'm still alive and we all need your help to avoid the teacher. Wait, so you faked your death? Yes, because... Because we wanted to save Sarah. I think she really died because she got poisoned. So you didn't die because of the lunch I gave you? No, in fact, I went to your house to ask for more food. Because... What? I can't wear that. I'm literally going to school. Yeah, I'm definitely getting sent home for this. Revenge time. Amara, what are you wearing? I know, my soulmate made me. You better hope none of the teachers sees you, otherwise you'll get a detention. They're definitely gonna see me. Excuse me, young lady, where's your school uniform? Miss, my soulmate made me wear this. I don't care, go home and change. I can't, my teacher just sent me home and told me to change to a school uniform. I can't go to school in this, especially now that she's told me to change. You deserve it. Amara, didn't I tell you to change? That's it, two hours of attention after school. Sorry I'm late, miss. First a swimsuit and now a Barbie costume? I'm not going to embarrass him today. Great, I'm so going to get a detention for this. Amara, why aren't you wearing the school uniform? Because my soulmate chose for me to wear this. You know when the teacher sees you, she's going to give you a detention, right? Yeah, I know. Amara, come here. Yes, miss? You're not wearing a school uniform, why? Because my soulmate chose for me to wear this. Is that your excuse, your soulmate? Look, if you're going to give me a detention, just do it already. Just because you said that, you're getting a two-hour detention. Payback time. You really think I'm going to wear a bikini to school? Not happening. <laughs> Your soulmate really made you wear a wedding dress to school. Yeah, he's horrible. Wait, why am I feeling kind of sick? Are you going to buy that? I don't know, I'm kind of running low on money. Just ask your soulmate for some. Yeah, you're right. I'm just going to buy it. No way I'm sending him that. My soulmate sent me a hundred thousand. Oh, you're lucky. I'm so happy for you. Stop asking me for money. Five thousand pounds. Who the hell does he think he is? I want a new soulmate. He always asks me for money but never sends any. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, mine sent me more. Gotta go. One million? He locked it? Why would he lock it? I can choose to know the name of people's parents or their age. I prefer to know the parent's name. Sis, can I borrow your hairbrush? Yeah, sure. Here. Thank you. Huh? Why is your dad's name different than mine? Are we supposed to be siblings? What do you mean? Amara, can you give me the answer to question three? Sir, Sarah's asking me for test answers. No, sir. She's the one who wants to cheat. I trust Sarah more because she's smarter than me. Therefore, I'm giving you a zero. You're on only the test. doing that because she's your daughter, right? Wait, what? I haven't checked my parents' name yet. Huh? How come both of them are boy names? I have to ask my mom. Mom, you have to tell me the truth. Who are you? Oh my gosh, how did you find out? We have to tell her the truth. So first, your mom was... Honey, you took my blush. Mom, I, uh... Wait! Before speaking, you need to know that it's very important that you never lie. Because when you lie, you'll forget all memory of the person you're lying to. Yes, okay, mom. You caught me. I'll be right back, honey. I'm just gonna get some milk. Okay, dad, bye! Huh? Little girl, what are you doing in my house? Go to your house now! You don't remember me? Come on, leave now! Go back to your house! Dad lied. Okay, I'm going to my house.
Bye, Mom. I'm going to school. You need to give me the money. I can't pay for everything myself. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to your dad. Dad? But I never had a dad. Anyways, I'm going to go to school. Bye. And your mom told you that? Yeah, she told me she was speaking with my dad. Attention, everyone. I want you to meet our new director, Mr. Steve. Hello. It's so nice to finally meet her in person. What color did I get on my lips? I'm curious. Huh? Pale? Why are my lips pale, Mom? That means you don't have a soulmate, honey. I don't have a soulmate? That means I'm never gonna get married. Calm down. You can just pretend with this lipstick. Hey, use it. Okay. Does it look real? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go to school now. Hi, guys. What color are your lips? Yellow, which means my soulmate's cruel. Mine's red, which means my soulmate's perfect. I also got red. I can't wait to meet my soulmate. Calm down. We haven't went through any obstacles yet. What do you mean? You'll see. I have to reapply my lipstick. It's starting to fade away. What are you doing? This is strictly forbidden. It can cover the true color that we received on our lips today. Hey, let me throw it away for you. No, don't. My lips are too pale. So you faked your color? Shh. Don't tell anyone. Oh, your lip color looks really good, Amara. Yes, it really does. My lips are naturally red. But you're in class. You're required to wear a mask. Class, those of you who didn't bring a mask, please take one off my table. What if my lipstick comes off with this mask? Everyone's going to know that I'm lying. Put on the mask. Okay, sir. You have to go to the bathroom and put on this lipstick. But what's the difference between this one and the one I was wearing earlier? This one's permanent, so it won't come off with the mask. That's great. Thank you so much. Sir, can I go to the bathroom? Oh my gosh, why does this look weird? But, oh well, if it's permanent, then no one's gonna know that I'm lying. Let's hope this works. Why does my lip feel weird out of a sudden? Okay, class is over. It's time for you to take your mask off. I really hope that lipstick was permanent. Amara, take off your mask. Okay, sir. Amara, please take off your mask. Okay, sir. I'm so dead. Whoa, your lips are so red. This means your soul makes perfect. I'm proud to have a student like you in my class. Thank God he didn't find out I faked my lip color. Thank you so much. You saved me from getting caught by the teacher and now I finally have a lip color. Of course, we always help each other out, right? Yeah, but how come you never show your lip color to anyone? Um, I'm a bit hungry. Do you want to get food from the cafeteria? Why is she changing the subject? Amara, I bought you a drink. Please come on a date with me. I'll take you to a restaurant. Hey, I bought you a teddy bear. Wait, wait, why are all the boys being so nice to me? It's because of your lip color. They all want to be your soulmate because your soulmate's perfect. I can't believe so many people have a crush on me. Actually, I still don't believe your lip color is original. What else do I have to do to prove it, sir? Try wiping your lips with this tissue. Why is it so wet and smelly? Just do it. Okay. See, nothing came off. I told you I didn't fake it. This means your lips are real. I'm amazed. Don't you feel there's something strange about the teacher's behavior? No, why are you so suspicious of him? He's just acting weird. Don't worry, I'm sure it's nothing. Anyway, I'm gonna go look for my soulmate. Bye! Amara, wait! Your lips, they changed color. What? Oh gosh, why are they black? I don't think you should meet your soulmate. Why not? You'll be in danger because... What vote is that, Dad? Today, everyone will vote for you, depending on if they think you're beautiful or ugly. If everyone considers you ugly, you'll be killed. Don't worry, I'll help you with your first vote. Mom, you're gonna vote beautiful, right? I'm not your mom, I'm your stepmother, and no, I'm not gonna vote that. Because your face reminds me of your mom, and she was ugly. Lucy, if you vote beautiful for me, I'll do the same for you. <laughs> you really think I'm gonna vote beautiful? I'm voting ugly. I want you to die so that I can take your boyfriend. Grandma, help me. I don't want to die. Everyone's voting ugly. Okay, honey, be patient. Sometimes life is unfair, even though we do good for others. But don't worry, I'll vote beautiful, okay? Thank you, Grandma. Guys, whoever votes ugly for Amara, I'll give them a hundred pounds. Wow, okay. I voted. Give me the money. Why are you doing this to me? Why are people mean to me when I'm always nice to them? I'm gonna stop being mean too. 
Amara, don't be mean. It's not all about how you look on the outside. The inside counts too, and you have a very good heart, so I'm voting beautiful. Besides, yesterday, someone told me that you helped some orphans. Thank you very much. Hey babe, since I'm your girlfriend, can you vote beautiful for me? No, I'm bored of you. If you die, that means I can have a new girlfriend. A new girlfriend? Yes, I've been wanting to break up with you for the longest time. My dad was right. I should have listened to him and left that guy a long time ago. This is my last chance. Sis, please vote beautiful for me. You don't want to lose me, do you? Actually, if you disappear, dad will love me more. So I'm voting ugly. No! What did you just do? Bye, sis. Huh? Choose between a hundred million or know everything? Of course, the money. Amara, your boyfriend's waiting outside. Look what you've done. Oh, no. Amara, how much is 3,000 times 780? Um, I don't know. 2,240,000. Yeah, that's right. Well done. That's weird. I didn't even mean it. My mouth just spoke by itself. Amara, I need to tell you something. Last night... Lucas slept at your house and you two were studying in your room. Yeah, how did you know that? Because I know everything. Class, we're gonna have a sudden exam. Whoever finishes first wins a prize. The answer to question one is B. The answer to question two is A. And the answer to question 25 is D. How did you know the answers? Did you look at my notes? No, I just guessed it. Now, can I have my prize? Hey, anyone want to buy some lottery tickets? Yes, can I have number 2, 8, 14, and 16? No way, I won! Mom, we're gonna be rich! Police, open up! What's my future salary? 50 million? That's a lot! I better put it on private so that my friends don't use me. How much is your salary, honey? 20 pounds. 20 pounds? That's so little. What a shame. I'm paying so much for your school for no reason. It's not for no reason. I'm still learning. I don't want to pay your school fees anymore. Hey, um, what are you doing? Hey, I'm planning what house I'm buying in the future because my salary is 200 Whoa, thousand. Whoa, that's a lot. How much is your salary, Amara? Why um, is it on private? 20 pounds. Oh, that's so little. I knew I was much smarter than you. Hey, don't be arrogant. Hi guys, what's your salaries? Mine's 40,000. Mine's 12,000. Mine's 110,000. What about yours? 20 pounds. Huh? Seriously? You might as well just quit school then. Yeah, you're just wasting your time. Why are you guys so rude? Class, please choose a group you want to work with on the new project. Okay, sir. Hi guys, can I join your group? You're really asking that? Of course not. Those whose salary is below 10,000 can't join our group. But you don't know how much my salary is. It's on private. Amara, come on. Everyone in school knows that your salary is 20 pounds. Just buy candy with it or something. That's if you can afford it. So, why does it say that I got grade C on my paper? It should say B on here. I heard your future salary is 20 pounds, but how come your grades are so good? I don't know, but can you change it back to B? Sorry, I can't, Amara. Everyone's going to think that I've given you a fake grade. Everyone's so mean. I wonder what they will say once they find out my future salary is much higher than theirs. I wonder what they'll say once they find out my future salary is much higher than theirs. Well, why isn't it working? See, I told you you were lying, otherwise you'd be able to put your salary on public. Why isn't it working? I want to prove everyone wrong and let the teacher give me the grade I deserve. Why are you here, Amara? I'm not going to change your grade. But sir, my salary is 50 million. That's a lie. If it was 50 million, why is it on private? I'm not lying, I promise. Just get out, Amara. Why do you look so sad? It's nothing. I've just had a bad day. I know what will make you happy. Here, have some candy. Grandma, I'm not a kid anymore. Just trust me and eat it. Okay, thank you. I really hope this candy isn't expired. Hmm, it's good. Wait, what? How did it just change to public? I hope I'll get a nice hairstyle. Two ponytails? If I accept, all my friends are going to make fun of me because I look like a little girl. It's okay, honey. It's a trend now. No, mom, it's not. I'm going to refuse it. Look how pretty my hair is. Yeah, it looks really good. I wish I got that hairstyle. Where is your hairstyle? You didn't get one? I did, but I rejected it. You should pick a unique one so your soulmate can find you. Yeah, I'm gonna accept the next choice, I guess. I chose a half up, half down ponytail. I chose a bun. You guys are lucky. 
Don't worry, just keep refusing until you get a good one. Yeah, I did that as well and it worked. Wow, then I have a better chance of getting a good hairstyle. I hope this time they'll give me a good hairstyle, which is better than my friends. Huh? Bold hairstyle? That means I'm not gonna have any hair. Why would they even give me this choice? It's okay, honey. Just accept it. Your hair will grow healthier. I don't want to, mom. You should be thankful and stop I'm being I'm not picky. being picky. I'm gonna refuse it. I'm worried about you. You haven't picked a hairstyle yet. You have to quickly pick one so you can marry your soulmate. Calm down. I still have time. Hopefully they'll give me a hairstyle this time that I like because I'm so tired of this. Huh? A bob cut? Not happening. I'm not cutting my hair. Sis, there's an old man staring at you. You have to pick a hairstyle quickly so you can get married and no one will stare at you anymore. No, I'm refusing it. I can't believe I still haven't gotten the hairstyle I want. I heard that if you get two braids, you're a special person. What do you mean a special person? You'll get treated like a queen with that hairstyle. Gosh, you still haven't picked? How many times have you refused? Three times. But you only get three chances. Now you'll never meet your soulmate. Calm down. Special people get to choose four times. And I'm sure I'm going to get to choose again. But you're not special. Yes, I am. Just watch. They'll give me another choice. I really hope so. I'm starting to get a bit worried. What if they don't give me another choice? Yes, I knew it. They're giving me another choice. Okay, hopefully this time they'll give me braids. Huh? Two braids? I managed to get the special hair. Don't accept it because... It's okay. This hairstyle is possible. I don't want to waste this opportunity. So I'm going to accept it. I can know the subject or class. You'll be going to a new school soon. So you'll have to choose what's useful for you. But if I'm in school, I straight away know the class. So I'm going to pick subject. Are you sure about your choice? Yes, ma'am. I chose to know the class. Yeah, I don't think anyone chooses to know the subject. It's good for nothing. I chose subject. What? Those who chose subject will be class made. made. But I'm smart. Why would they make me homemade? Hey, Emily, what did you choose to know? Obviously class, didn't you? Um, no. I chose to know the subject. Huh? From now on? I can't be friends with you. Anymore. Why not? I don't want to be friends with class made. This is all your fault, so don't contact me anymore. Babe, you have to teach me the subject too, yeah? Babe, since when were we dating? Since the moment you chose to know the subject. So you just want to use me? Not happening. Did you just reject the most handsome boy in school? I have a present for you. I want to you out to eat. I'll pay. Amara's mine. Don't talk to her. What do you mean? When we finish school, you have to come to my house. Sa said, if you bring a book that doesn't match the subject, You'll be killed by the ghost of a teacher who used to be in the school. And you believe that? Yes, so many people have gone missing because they brought the wrong book to school. Amara, tomorrow you have to tell me what book to bring to school, okay? No, why should I tell you? Because you're my maid, and did you forget I'm the president's daughter? There will be consequences if you don't tell me. Okay, I'll tell you. Mom, apparently I'm Claire's maid now, because I'm the only one who can see tomorrow's subject. What? Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Claire's the daughter of the president. You have to respect her and listen to her. Here, take this bag. Make sure everything she needs is in this bag. Wait, so you think it's right that I'm her maid? Yes, you should be proud. She's the president's daughter. You can see tomorrow's subject, right? Yes, sir. Why? The lives of your friends are now in your hands. You have to tell them. So they don't disappear like the others. Yes, sir. I understand. Today's lesson is maths. Why didn't you call me this morning? Hurry up and tell me today's subject so I can bring the right book to class. Oh, yes. Today's lesson is... English. I can see someone's last drink or last meal. I think the last meal is more interesting. Mom, I'm going to eat quickly before going to school. Oh my gosh, you ate a cockroach? Yeah, I wanted to try it. I learned how to try it online. Do you want to try some? No, thank you. I'm going to school. Bye. Wait, before you go, here, take a couple with you so you can eat them at lunch. Whatever, Mom. Thanks. It turns out all my friends are healthy because they eat vegetables all the time. Amara, what's that in your lunchbox? What kind of food is that? It looks delicious. The fried cockroaches. Do you want to try some? Sure, I've never had them before. I heard they're really good. 
Thank you for sharing your lunch. You're usually very stingy. I feel bad for you because you eat vegetables all the time. How do you know that I eat vegetables? Because I can see people's last meal. If that's true, can you check my last meal? Chicken liver? Gosh, you're right. But please don't tell anyone I have this power. I feel like everyone who ate your cockroach yesterday is gone. Huh? Gone? How? They didn't come to school today. Who made that cockroach? My mom, but it's impossible that she would poison my lunch. The teacher now suspects you. Luckily, I didn't try your lunch yesterday, so I'm safe. You wanted to see me, sir? Aria said you can see someone's last meal, right? But I told her not to tell anyone. Is that true, Amara? Yes, sir. Meet me at the school warehouse at 3 this afternoon. I wonder why he wants me to meet him at that exact time. Okay, sir. Why does it smell so rotten in here? You should see their last meal. Huh? Them? That's my friends who didn't show up to school today. Why do they look so pale? Everyone who ate your cockroach died. One of them, as you know, is the president's daughter. There's no way. I guarantee you my lunch wasn't poisoned. I need you to please look at their last meal. Oh, why can't I see it? The last meal isn't appearing, sir. Okay, I'll give you three hours. If you can't prove it, you'll be found guilty and will be punished. Buy these glasses, please. They're cheap. No, thanks. I don't want to buy any glasses. But they have a great power. You won't regret it. Great power? Okay, who knows? Maybe they can help me. I'll take them. You're here, which means you can see people's last meals, right? I'll try, sir. This is your last chance. Okay, I'll put on these glasses first. So, what's the last meal? Okay, I'll put on these glasses first. So, what's the last meal? Gosh, so they really did die because of the lunch I gave them. Hello, answer me. Um, it wasn't because of me, sir. The last meal was chicken soup. Okay, now, keep this a secret from everyone. So, I'm not in trouble, right, sir? No, but please keep this a secret. Yes, of course. Where did you just come from, Amara? I was just walking around the school. I'm really starting to get worried about our friends. Do you think something bad happened to them? No, I don't think so. Honey, you're back from school. Let's have lunch. I just cooked. What's our lunch this time? Cockroaches. Why? I don't know if I should eat it, but I need to find out if the reason my friends died was because of them. You don't want to eat the food? Yes, I do, Mom. Well, it tastes really good, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Why didn't anything happen? I'll get it. Hey, I brought you a bag of food. You did? I don't think I can accept this, sir. If you don't, I'll reduce your grades. Okay, I'll accept it. Why is he forcing me to take this? This is so weird. I have to find out who was responsible for what happened at school yesterday. Amara, you're finally here. Huh, Stephanie? How are you still alive? Am I in heaven? I'm still alive and we all need your help to avoid the teacher. So you faked your death? Yes. I'm still alive and we all need your help to avoid the teacher. Wait, so you faked your death? Yes, because... Because we wanted to save Sarah. I think she really died because she got poisoned. So you didn't die because of the lunch I gave you? No, in fact, I went to your house to ask for more food because it was so delicious. Hey, who's there? Shoot, we have to go. Huh? I only have one diamond? That's so little! Don't complain, I got minus two, at least you got one. I guess I'm gonna have to choose to marry a rich man. Although I wanted to be single, but I only have one diamond. Hello, I'm gonna be taking care of your wedding with Mr. Liam. Where did you come from? Liam hired me, he said he can't wait for you to be his can't wife. Can't wait? How old is this guy? Relax, he's 21. 21? He's younger than me, I don't want to marry someone younger than me. It's too late now, you can't cancel the wedding. How are you expecting me to sign this contract without even knowing what he looks like? Mr. Liam requested this and he also wants it to be a secret. That's so weird. What if he's a criminal? Don't worry. I guarantee you he's not a bad person. Now let's sign the agreement. Okay. 10 million? Why don't I have enough diamonds? Now I have to pick the stupid black card. I'm just going to throw it away. It's useless. Are you crazy? Why would you throw that card away? You can use it to buy anything in this world. Didn't you know that? Wait, really? I'm almost late. Excuse me, your card fell on the floor. Oh, yes, thank you. By the way, since you helped me find this card, do you want to have coffee somewhere? Yeah, sure. 
Thank you for inviting me, by the way. Before I leave, can I get your Instagram? Yes. I mean, sorry, I can't. I don't have enough diamonds. It's okay. I can give you mine and you can just follow me. That's a really good idea. I'm so glad I met this guy. He's so handsome. Amara, come downstairs. Your future husband's here to see you. Future husband? Oh, yeah, I'm going to get married soon, but I don't want to marry Liam. I want to marry the guy from the coffee shop. Huh? This means I can run away from this marriage. Yes! I can choose between 10 kilograms of gold or a scarf. I've never taken the scarf off. I'm curious what will happen if I do. No, choose the scarf. It protects you from bad things. Do not take it off. Okay, Mom. Mom, I'm going out with my friends. Okay, but be careful. Do not take that scarf off. Yes, Mom, calm down. I won't take it off. I'm so tired from that run. Hey, drink this juice. Okay. Does it taste good? I don't know. I've never tasted anything since I was young. You really don't know what juice tastes like? No, I don't. That's weird. Yeah, you're weird. Guys, come on, let's go. We don't want to be friends with you anymore. Guys, wait! You don't want to go swimming? I can't, sir. Why is that? Because the scarf around my neck will be wet and my mom said I can't take it off. Oh, then I have no choice but to reduce your swimming scores. Reduce my swimming scores? Yes. Class, today we'll be doing a cooking lesson. Who here can cook? I'm really good at cooking. I can, sir. Okay, you can join this lesson. I'm going to try some of your food. Okay, sir. I hope you like it. Why does it taste like this? It's so salty. I've never tasted food before, sir. I'm sorry. It's better if you just leave this lesson because you clearly can't cook. Look, that's the girl who never tasted any food. What's worse is that she's never taken that scarf off. She's weird. I'm not really weird. I also don't know why I can't take it off. My mom always tells me to keep it on ever since I was little. No need to be sad. Do you want to know something about that scarf? I don't really care. Apparently, there's a girl who can't taste any food since she was a little kid because of the scarf she has on her neck. Wait, I have a scarf on my neck. Why don't you take off that scarf to see if that's the reason you can't taste anything? But my mom says if I take it off, bad things will happen. What if bad things are happening because of that scarf? Yeah, you're right. Okay, fine. I'll take it off. Okay, I've taken it off. Just... Be careful if something bad happens to me. Calm down. What should we do now? You have to prove if it's true that the only reason you can't taste is because of that scarf. Hey, I have a drink if you want to try it. Okay. I wonder what this is going to taste like. I have to choose between an ordinary egg or a special egg. I choose the special egg. Don't eat it. Why can't I eat it? Because you're not supposed to eat it. You're supposed to break and it. And when can I break it? Soon. Be patient. If you got the egg with the star on it, please let me know. Didn't you get the special egg option? No, only certain people get it. Certain people? Yes, it's very rare. Why do only certain people get the special egg? So no one has the special egg yet, right? No, no one in the school got it as far as I know. Which one did you get? Oh, um, the ordinary egg. Okay, please look out for anyone who has an egg with a star on it. If you see them, let me know. Mm hmm Okay, I will. Do you want to know what's inside the special egg? You have to break it first. Break it? Okay, I'll break it now. Don't. It's not time yet. Later, when the right time comes, you'll definitely be asked to break it. Okay. Students, you'll soon be asked to gather in the hall. Why do we all have to gather in the hall? To break the eggs, silly. An egg-breaking event? Yes, Amara. Why is your face like that? Don't you like breaking eggs? I do. I know you got the special egg. What? Please don't tell anyone. Don't worry. I won't. But once you break that egg, you're going to have to give me what's in it. Otherwise, I'm going to tell everyone. What? But I don't even know what's in it. You don't need to know. All you need to do is break it. Okay. Do not give the contents of the egg to anyone. Why? Because what's in it is very valuable. Valuable? Yes. But if I don't give what's in this egg to Jack, he's going to tell everyone I have the special egg. Don't worry. Everyone will know that you have it soon. But if people find out, it could be bad. No, they won't be able to do anything after the contents of the egg come out. So I have to break it first? Yes. Amara, please make your way to the hall. Everyone's ready to break the egg. Okay. I just broke mine and there's so much gold. Does everyone get gold? Yes, except the ones who has the special egg. Speaking of, where's your egg? Break it now. I... Why are you scared? Just take it out. Okay, sir. I'll take my egg out now. Why are you scared? Break it now. Okay, sir. I'll take out my egg now. 
I chose the special egg. Sorry. Give that special egg to me now. What? No, this is my egg. Catch her and take the special egg. Luckily, no one knows I'm here. You have to quickly break the egg before anyone sees you. But what if someone steals what's in it? Don't worry, you have to break it before it's too late. Okay, but before I break it, can you please leave? I want to be alone. Okay, I'll leave now. It's safe, right? Okay, now it's time for me to break the egg. What was that? Hi, Mom. What? Who are you? Thanks for breaking the egg. But nothing came out of it. You stole the contents of the egg. Give it back now. I didn't steal anything. What am I going to do? You have to come with me. Don't leave. Okay, Mom. Stop calling me that. I'm not your mom. Who's that walking with Amara? He's so tiny and cute. Cute? He's a thief. What kind of thief? Oh, yeah, by the way, what did you do with that special egg? Nothing. He stole it. What? So he's the one that took the contents of the special egg? Yes, I already broke it, but I didn't see what's in it because he took it. Hey, little boy, come with me. Where are you taking him? I'm going to help you get whatever he stole. I can't believe I ended up getting nothing from that special egg. He didn't steal the contents of that egg. What do you mean he didn't steal the contents of the egg? He is the contents of the egg. What? If that's true, then I have to help him. Some guy took him away. The guy already knows that he came out of the egg. But he pretended to help you so you could get to him. I have to save him. Before you leave, don't forget to tell that little boy that you love him. Why would I do that? I don't even know his name. His name is Chance. Chance? What kind of a name is that? Chance! Mom? Oh, there you are. Stay right there or I'll kill him. If I kill him, I'll be rich. Rich? Yep, I have to kill him now. No, don't! Sorry, I always call you mom. I only call you that because you're the owner of the egg. I can't believe I couldn't save him. Oh, don't be so sad. I'm sorry. I love you, Chance. What was that? I love you too. You're alive again? Yep, and I'm much stronger now thanks to you.